dog business consultants are going to present you the DCF calculation technique. The first sheet includes the user manual which states the method techniques to calculate the DCF valuation. It also calculates the share price of your company. Moving on to the calculation sheet, it states the present value in three different scenarios. The first scenario states the cash flows in each period are same. The second scenario states when the cash flows are different in each period. And the third scenario states when the cash flows and discount rates are different in each period. Next, we have calculated the unlevered free cash flows. The unlevered free cash flows are also known as the free cash flows to the firm. And these are unlevered because we haven't included the interest on the debt. So the calculation of unlevered free cash flows says that we will add the NOPAT ABIT1 minus tax rate with the deposition and amortization which are the non-cash expenses and subtracting these two from the increase in working capital and the capital expenditure we will be able to calculate the unlevered free cash flows. Then these free cash flows are discounted and the total present value is calculated. The next step is to calculate the terminal value and in the last we have the total value of enterprise. The last step includes the share price calculation. So first we have calculated the net debts. The net debts are calculated by subtracting the current assets from the total liabilities. Hence the price per share is calculated by subtracting the enterprise value from the net debt and dividing it by the outstanding shares. Thanks for watching.